How y'all doing? Popping the garden out here. Get ready to throw some onion seeds. I'll get my bed ready. Look at there. Got some little bit of pepper. I think it's about to make cool because it's getting cold. Pretty cool weather now. You got a big root system. Look at that. Ain't that so? Get around here on the other side there. That's pretty good size, isn't it? That eat. Get in there, fresh dirt, you know, do their business. All right, that didn't take long, did it? Look at that, uh, St. Augustine trying to come up through there. There's a little one. I bet you'll eat that. I cook with it, do something with it. But I'm going to spread my soil out like that. Supposed to get a good rain tonight. Here just a little bit. Say it may get pretty rough. Don't come over here. Throw me a few onions, see. Let the good Lord take care of it with the rain water. Pocket here and see if I can find them. That's the other kind there. Oh, what would that do with it? Let's see what I got in this pack right here. <sighs> Some red onion seed and done something with them. I guess I left them in the house. These is Texas Grand Old Onion. Grand Old is this. I don't look here as long as they. They eat. You got them sealed up well right there, I'm telling you. I don't know why. <laughs> I tell you, they sealed up. They ain't tear it this way. Yeah. We're getting it now. Well, I thought I would. That is taped down to that. There we go. All right. He got it rolled on there. I don't know what it is. Texas. 
I can't really make it out. Early onions or something. Anyhow, I don't know. It's probably, I don't know, 100, 200 seeds in there. And I'm going to spread them all out here on this. Thin them out as they come up. You know, you let them sprout and come up. And uh, then you can set them out. Let them make, let them make a bottom. But as you thin them out, you can leave the ones in there, you know. If you thin them out, leave the ones in there. I'm just going to store around in here, like this right here, all around. Take my hand and I'm gonna drag it over a little bit like that. Just stir it up a little. Like that. All right, now we'll go around here with the other side. Do the same thing. Look at that right there. Just throw them around. What to come up with, what to want, what to do. I think I got enough to plant a half acre. They don't let these be little seedling plants. You know what I mean? I just planted all of them right in that swimming pool. Stir the ground up just a little bit. I like to do it. You ain't got to. You don't have to. Put more wire back to it. Keep the varmint side of it, which is them cats. Like that right there. And if there's something growing in it, they won't hard to fool with it. Don't think like that right there. See, they think something's growing in there and they won't come back to it. They go somewhere else to do their business. Supposed to get bad tonight, they say. We're going to hunker down. It's a good Lord worry about this. Huh. As you see, I got that covered up now for them cat. Pick the paper up. Look at that, I dropped my red onion a while ago. There they are. I guess I wasn't supposed to plant them today. What are doing? Maybe I can find another bed somewhere. There's one. What about that bed right there? There's one. See him old cat? Yeah, get in there. See, he's raking it up. Oh, yeah. Get around here. There's Scooter. Scooter's all the way down here. All right, I'm going to get ready now and plant my red onion. Same thing. There's a few onions covered up in there.
Throw the ground up a little bit. I mean, plant stuff ain't that hard to do. I love me some onions, you know what I mean? I'm gonna plant these and I'm gonna transplant them after they come up. They won't make real. They won't make close together. Last you, I plant them little seedlings about one, one and a half inches apart. Room to make a bowl. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing now. I'm gonna sprinkle them around like that right there. That's a mess of onions right there in this little bee. I may even plant some out there in that garden. I got a garden bush. Backyard, you know, I, I, I believe y'all seen it before if you watch my videos. I'm gonna stir the dirt up a little bit like that right there. That's it, that's it. You don't have to, but I do. There it is. See, huh? Long we took to plant that way. I put the thing. All right. Keep the cat side out. They use the camouflage over. <laughs> I'm gonna use wire over here. plants over there to cover it up so we'll use this wire over here now now then all right i got that plan That's the, uh, the bed I got covered up to them cat. They love to play in these boxes. I'm trying to figure out how to make my camera go up and down there. If y'all wonder what I'm doing. Oh, you push up on it like that right there. Wheel. It's hard for an old man sometimes. Everything looking good out here. I still got a lot to do and need to clean up a lot. There's a hole right there, man. You know them little kittens, eh? Curious, ain't not? They'll go up in there and look around just for the heck of it. Ain't nothing I hate worse to come out here. <coughs> Something I had growing yesterday is pretty and the cat mess it up during the night. Or after I go, you know what I mean. After I leave it. Scooter. That's my greens. I'm picking greens in the morning. That's my cabbages. Cabbage and a 
Most of the greens growing in the same pot there. But them cabbages coming on there. When that be long, we'll be eating some. I just love boiled cabbage. I like uh well I don't know any kind of cabbage you fix that I love it. I just love it. Good. You ready to go to the mailbox? Good. He playing with a cat. He don't much like this. It's a halter, I guess you call it. Come here. Come here, Scoot. Come here. Come here. Come here, Scooter. Come here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Let's put your shirt on so we can put your harness on. Come here. We don't much like this thing. But you gotta do what you gotta do. If I don't put this on him, when we get out there, he will break and run like, a, like he's on fire. And he really hates this. Just here. Now, let's go. Let's go, Scooter. Got my onions planted. The rain coming. Got a little okra on my okra plant. We'll go out here and check the mail. It's just a good day in the neighborhood. Good day in the neighborhood, huh? If any kind of low, I tell you one thing that'll cheer you up. And that's knowing you got a savior. Knowing you got something you can fall back on. And he'll never leave you. He'll never, he'll never talk, talk about your band behind your back, you know what? Or stab you in the back. He's always a friend, a good friend. So why in the world do I search anywhere else for what I need to get through this life? Come a car down the road. There, my Martin Boxy. One of them had a tumble. Maybe a lot of stuff have a tumble tonight after this storm. It's, that storm moves pretty fast and I kind of hear a little bit about it before they're on this side or the other side God's going to take care of me look at that ain't bed that looks like an ant bed over there in uh, Australia or somewhere my God I have got to get some poison put out here there's a limb laying there Oh, that's that tree I pulled up yesterday. See, my ain't bed, there's another. I'm going to have to get me some ant poison put out here. They're going to have to take us over. There's one right there. Two. Scooter does pretty good on his old leash. He kind of fights to have to put it on, but after he gets it on, he's all right. Whew, I'm about out of breath walking out here. Show me right there. I need to either sit down or walk a little more, huh? Uh oh, got something in the bed. Ain't none of mine. That's why. All this old junk mail. We always get junk mail. I don't know if y'all do or not, but it's aggravating. Ain't it? Think you got a mailbox full of something and ain't no junk mail. Come on, Scooter. Now you know that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Look at her, it's all wrapped up here. Lord have mercy. Come on around this way. 
Come on. That's right. Come on through here. Uh oh. Not that way. Oh, hold back out in front of a car. Play on my dog. I got eight bed over here too. All right, somebody backed up there. I think that's the same one run through my yard over there. Spun around here. And buried it right there. Hey, nothing in this mail I need. That's good. Is that a wish turbine? I trimmed it up last. <laughs> I trimmed it up back to winter. You can't tell it now. Well, I said I need to trim some of these limbs up through here. The people see up on the port. In case somebody comes to try to rob us or something, you know, the neighbors see them up there. The way it is now, we're kind of living in the wilderness. No, there ain't bed over around that tree. Right there. There's my fig tree. You know, that fig tree, or bush, is about, oh my God, I wouldn't, five, six years, and that's all it's done. It happened every year. I forget about it. It gets so dry. And it don't get the water it needs. And it'll fall back. And they're about to die. And they put back out, you know, during the spring. Well, that is about as big as it's ever been. And I thank God for it. Scooter, you're going to get in that ink bed. There's them cats. Go rare them cat. People going up and down the highway, just getting off work. I say highway, that's a peach street, it's a little black top road, it ain't not that busy around here. I looked out there last night, out there in that pasture field, right there. Just up there, right up in there. I mean, I walked out there at the back door the other night, and them dogs went crazy. And I tell you, it looked like it was a herd of deer. Just a beautiful sight, you know, running off through the midnight. Yeah, a lot of time, you know why, we're still up to pretty late, sometimes midnight or after. Oh. Just doing what we want to do and not worried about me. That's some corn and stuff I got out of the freezer. Some uh, fried okra that I put up. We never did eat it. I got old. I'm going to take it out here and I'm going to get it to the chick. They love stuff like that to eat. I'll go out there tomorrow and pick some more greens out in the yard. At this rain. It's kind of cooling off. Oh. Maybe it won't get too bad, you know, after it cools off. Real hot weather when we have bad storms, huh? Not necessarily, I know, but most of the time. They waiting. They are waiting. <clears throat> I 
I heard somebody one time tell me to keep the camera still. Well, it's kind of hard to do. First, I'm going to put this oak down here. It looks good enough to stand, too. Well, I ain't done been fried. I don't care much about it, does it? Well, I don't know. They're picking up now. There's the corn. That's some of that pieces of cream corn. It's pretty. It's freeze burnt. Said it's freezer burnt, not fit to eat it. They tearing her up now, though. Yep, Come on. Oh, excuse me. That go green patch, I'm telling you. I don't know. It's like I sprayed something on my green. Killed every one of them just about. I don't know what it was, but there's some big leaves out here on these ones that's growing. My turnips are not getting big for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but there's some big leaves on them right there. Got a few bug holes in them, but Yeah, big east turnips on. Not very big. That big is your thumb. I don't know. It just amazes me how they just die like that. I mean, they were so pretty. They just died. That's amazing. Thought I seen a big one down in all that, but I guess I didn't. See the bug holes, I know. I know, Scooter. I know. Done it wrong. They do the chow, huh? Huh, oh, Scooter? That's pretty there. Big old leaf. Walk around out here in the garden. I didn't raise the garden this year. 
think I've talked my wife into letting me do it and come another year. She kind of frowned because I grow too much and bring it in there. She got so much to put up. She can't. She ain't got time to do anything else for putting up all that stuff. And she said, kind of slack up on it. And I said, okay. I sure will. I, put, I planted greens all out in there, and I ain't seen a one come up. I don't under, I can't figure it out. And see how I planted all the greens in there, and they all died. But look at the deer track. There is some deer. There's some deer out here at night. Well, it looked like it's fixed to get bad. They said about 7, 7.30 it's supposed to hit. It's getting pretty. Well, I don't know what time it is now. Probably about 5. So we ain't got a couple of hours. Get on in there and get my bath took. Eat supper and wait on it. That old tree there, that pear tree. I bought it somewhere and brought it home and planted it. And back then, there was a chicken yard out here. And them old chickens, they'd peck on it, peck on it, and dig around it and all that. That thing just about died. It probably wasn't finger high when I come out here and look at it. <laughs> and, uh, oh, that's been years ago, though. And that thing... Made another runner sticking out one side of it and it took off. I mean, it grew into a tree. And now, just to show you, that's the pears. That's the pears. It went back to something else. I don't know what it went back to, but that ain't a... That's pitiful right there. And it is loaded down, I mean... I would really, really like to see more subscribers on here. I'd like to hear more comments. I'd like to talk to all of you. Start to sprinkle a little bit now. Something digging around that bottom of that tree. Look at that. Come out here at night doing that. I don't know what it is. That's old possum or a raccoon or something. Oh. There's a the cat. There's another one over there. Scooter got me wrapped up. I got to turn around and get unwrapped. He wants to wrap around my legs with that leash. I don't think he knows what he's after, what he's doing. But Unit went out. Central unit went out. Around Halloween. And I had a cold one. And that thing lasted... Bought this trailer in 2007. That's when the, they put the unit in. And it's been pretty much, you know, it worked good, what I'm trying to say. I've had to call the fair man out a few times, a couple of times. Change this, one first one thing or another. 
But anyhow, they come put me this brown in. And I hope I have good luck with it. It's, that thing runs smooth. Sounds to me like, you know, a big truck idling kind of like that. Them new trucks now, that them old Max and all that. But the, them new trucks we have today. What it sound like. Yeah, the wife's going to cook the oatmeal. And uh, butter, puddle, toast. Y'all ever heard of that? Butter, puddle, see my latch. Everybody, they kind of make fun of about my wire latch. The miss good. Well, I've made that harness for him. It works real, real well, I tell you. There he is. He ready now. Got his all his coat off and everything. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with this. I'm getting my, I got a little scraps in there. And got the egg basket. Hopefully I'll get an egg, I hope. You know, I walk out here a lot of times. I don't have my basket. It seems like I get more eggs when I don't have my basket. That's just a coincidence, though, it ain't. Uh-oh, he done fell over. Stand him back up there. Now, it's a wind blew him. Now he's standing up. It's a wind blew him over. Oh. I hope y'all having much fun listening to me. As much fun as I have talking to you. Everything just good, ain't it? It's a good day to be alive. Amen. All glory to God. Y'all have a blessed day, and we're going to talk to y'all later. Amen. All right.